Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everything in between, and welcome to a game that came out last month and is amazing. Uh, this is Elite Dangerous. This is a remake of a game from the dawn of computers called Elite, which ran on 16 kilobytes of RAM and ran off a five and a half, five, no, five and a quarter inch floppy disk, and was like a huge open world, open galaxy space flight sim, and this is a remake, and it is fucking amazing. Let's get in. I'm gonna do it in solo just so I can do it quickly, because I'm also uploading a video. I want to use as much as little internet downloading as I can. This is the graphics. This is the inside of my ship. I'll show you around it real quick. Oh, there we go. Find the button. Look at this. This is amazing. And. That's my fake wood over there. That's all the fancy I get. Little triangle of fake wood. Um, you got these little side panels and your ranks for what you are. Uh, you got your balance down underneath that. You got your rebuy cost, your bounty, your little grip. And then you got your, um, you can turn, you can, if you were a complete and utter idiot, turn off. Where is it? The life support. And, um, but because I'm in the station, it won't matter. <laughs> Forgot about that part. I can up your sensors. I've got. I've turned off my cargo rack because I'm not carrying anything. Uh, you can turn off your shields. Don't know why you would ever do that, but you can. Uh, so if your thrusters, if you want to go for a bit quick spin. You got your weapons, you can see your fire group, you got your cargo if you're carrying any. And you got all this stuff here. Look at all this. You can turn off whether the gun sight following them or behind them. I don't know why. And you can self-destruct yourself if you're not in a station. Uh, you can turn off free flight checks, I can turn that on, and go launch, and there we go, and that brings up this bit, and that's, this helps you, um, like, check and make sure all your things are working, I'm using a joystick, and the keypad is next, oh, I need to do the yaw still, I, this has full integration with, a school Hotaz, which is the joystick in your right hand, and then the throttle, sort of joystick, and I can show you what I mean. Which is essentially this, like as you can see I'm doing this as quickly in real life and with the keyboard I'm controlling the throttle. Go back. I'm controlling the throttle. But you can have that in real life. That whole thing and then so you're doing this in real life but real moving around. And it also has um Oculus Rift integration. Uh land gear L Boy that. Uh UI focus shift. Oh, why did it do that? I think I hit it. G. Okay, and then you can launch. And what I usually do, uh, uh, what I usually do is turn that off. I know that it all works. Uh, orbit line, you can turn them off, but I know I would. Um, so that's just that stuff. And on this side, you got your train. Uh, your if, look at this is in Seoul, by the way. This is our galaxy, our um, solar system. You can go to stuff. You can go to um, let's show you Earth. Let's show you how they picture Earth in the year. 3031. It was year 3030 when it came out, but it's been through New Year's since then. Uh, uh, landing gear no, I'm quite new to using the um, oh, joystick. I've been playing this for the most part with the um, thing. Now, you may be thinking, Earth, where are you at the moment? Well, I am at Jupiter. Is it Jupiter? Yeah, Jupiter, or just outside Jupiter. And you're thinking, Earth, now that's a bloody long way away. Not wrong, you're two and a half, uh, 2.8, two, uh, 2,800 light seconds away. Very long time. Now, this game has one thing that, when I first discovered it, made me go, Oh my god, oh my science should help. And that's this button. Frame shift drive charging. Just, you gotta wait for it to charge. Just wait. Four, Once it's charged, three, it's done a little countdown. Two, it goes one, into, engage. not warp speed, fucking, um, no, this is warp speed, sorry. It has warp speed. You can go, see in the bottom there, going kilometers per second. And uh, once a week reaches 1,000 kilometers per second, it turns into a million meters per second. And then, once it gets past, I think it's like 20 million meters per second, something like that, it goes into point C. C is the speed of light. You can go the speed of light. You can go faster than the speed of light. See down here it's saying it's going to take me 10 hours. 
nine hours, eight hours, because I'm getting faster. Now we're into the point C's. 2,000 uh, light seconds at one C would take 2,000 seconds. It's a fucking long time. Don't worry. You can go up and above 1,000 C if you have the patience. Now let me show you the map, shall I? Uh, this is the map. All of this. Uh, you want to go over there? Sure, why not? Let's go all the way. Oh, watch it lag at the chest load. Uh, what's the furthest away point? Probably somewhere over here. Oh, back into that way a little bit. Uh, uh here? Ah, you want to go to this particular star? Well, oh, can't find a route. We can go there though. It's only 67.9 million light years away. That's pretty damn close. That's like five seconds. That's one. That's real close. <laughs> oh, this game is amazing. Uh, it has, um, it has, if you notice, yeah, it has missions. My one that I have at the moment, I have 37 hours to do, and it's to find a guy in a giant ass anaconda and kill him. Anaconda is the biggest ship in the game as it's current, and it is an utter bastard to take down. Look at that! We're going 37 times the speed of light. That is how fast we are going. And watch as we'll go past Mars. Hang on, where's Mars? It's over there. Let's just whip past Mars real quick. I want to show you what Mars looks like. This is the year 3031. Obviously, the solar system is going to be slightly different. Mars, they have terraformed it. So it's got oceans everywhere, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's got oceans, it's got valley, it's got black glass. So it's habitable now. So they've habitalized Mars. Right, let's real quick go have a look at Mars. And I hope you saw it, because it's gone now. And now we're going to continue back to Earth. <laughs> you just planets have no fucking meaning anymore. Just hey, you see that planet over or that star over yonder? Yeah, I'll be there in five fucking minutes. I need a you need a button on this to slow down to 75%. I think press the one one. If you were to double tap, it fucks you up. It sends you spiraling out of this hyperdrive. But I'm gonna show you Earth because Earth is amazing, and I need to show you the other thing that's surfing it. And as you can see, we're slowly flying down. It's sitting at about six seconds because it's flying down. This is like all computer aided, this little bit. Uh, you can do it manually and just back off the throttle yourself, but it's just a lot easier to do it like this. Uh, ooh, loading something or another. Look, there's Earth. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> I'll slow right down to about 30 meters a second, or 30 kilometers a second, just so as you can go. Uh, let's go free look. Oh, free look. Look, it's Earth. There's Madagascar and South Africa. South Africa. South Africa, just Africa in general. Cool. Uh, that's America, South America. You got a bit of a. Uh, that's weird. It looks like the mountains raised up there slightly. Uh, then you got Hawaii. I guess that would be over there. That's yeah. I'm pretty sure that would be Hawaii there. And then you've got around her, you got three stations. This is on the mouse, it's free looks sort I of think. You got the capital ship, which I'm actually gonna show you now. The capital ship is amazing. And using the little compass down on the top left is in the middle, that tells you or that shows you where everything is. So at the moment you can see I'm only going hundred hundred kilometers a second. It's because the planet Earth has a huge gravity well around it. And I'm not gonna get sciencey, but if you're around a big body of Earth using frameshift drive or warp drive or whatever then the frameshift drive essentially gets halted and uh, slowed down by the fact that the huge gravity well. Uh, this jump drive whatever uh, it works by compressing space in front of you and expanding it behind you and essentially pulling you through space rather than pushing you and that's like the thing this game does break a lot of um, current physics things like Einstein's law of relativity or E equals mv squared dictates you cannot go p faster than one uh, speed of one one speed of one light second, second you can't go faster than the speed of light basically because for every essentially point of energy you gotta put in I, for every two points of energy you put in you p get out one point so for you to be going the speed of light you need to be putting in two times the speed of light worth of energy and that's more than there is in the universe, to put it bluntly and basically. But 
this game lets you do it because it's a game and it is awesome and I am thoroughly enjoying myself with it. Let's go to the capital ship, shall we? Now, this capital ship, uh, kinda, kinda small. For a capital ship, like, you think capital ship, you think big, big fuck off, motherfucker. Big fuck off ship, like, I'm going to completely and utterly eat you if you come anywhere near me. Uh, it's actually not that big, like, maybe, I don't know. I'll just wait for it to load, it takes a little while. Don't know why. You have a ship loaded. Yep, just, it's very small. <laughs> this thing is massive, it's like two kilometers long. Let me get to its nose. Uh, Flight assist off. Let's get to its nose. Flight assist on. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is amazing. It's like two k's long or some shit. And now we got the music. Yeah, at its nose, we're essentially a k away from. The center of mass, basically. Oops, I uh, just activated a shield. So that's how far away. 1.45. Let's go to the end. I'm gonna see if it has a cargo hatch because it needs one of them apparently. Flight assist off. Flight assist on. And over here at the back. The premium back. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, fuck, that can go. Ugh. Ah! Okay. Hmm. I see a problem. Oh, God. No, just go. Just go over there. Stop. Stop. Oh, assist I'm missing up all the buttons. Assist yeah, it's essentially 3Ks across. 2.5Ks. That is a fucking long ship. And I want to go in here. Nothing much, nothing much, nothing yeah, much. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Down. Oh god, that was hard. Ah, uh, yeah, you can be thoroughly fucked up by those, by banging stuff. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to the American one, the, the orbiting Earth. There's the Chinese, or Asian one, the La Queen Zhao. And then you have the American, the Abraham Lincoln, and then the Russian M. Gorbachev. Gorbachev. I'm assuming they're uh, Asian, Japanese, uh, Asian American, and I shouldn't buy these names, but I'm not too sure. Uh, where we gotta go? Okay, we gotta go behind us. So turn around. Flight assist off. Frame shift drive oh. charging. Flight can't. assist off. Can't jump. Now uh, you see in the bottom left there, this is mess up. That's lit because we got the big ass charging. ship behind us. I'm actually motioning behind me for some reason. Four, Wait, we've got the big three, ship behind us, so two, that one, stops the drive from doing anything you too close. I can take gravity well, science, body luck. So this this sort of game, this science game, this is this is a jam. This is this is my jam, this is where I live. And then there's like a little station uh, like oil rig station sort of deal. Uh, when you uh, when you jump in, you need to request permission by going to your contacts. Selecting. Oh, they got a convoy out. Uh, these are little like AI robots. Uh, all of these AI, the Federal Security Service, these are all AI. Uh, pretty much anyone you see in now at the moment will be AI. But these are UAV essentially robots, uh, drones, and that's an actual person and so a survivor. So it's like, uh, they have the same ship as me. So that's interesting. Uh, docking. Yep. Alright, so once you've got your requested dock, Docking request it tells you which one to land, and you gotta go and find it. Yeah, you, it doesn't do it for you, you gotta go and do it. Just put your landing gear down, go find it. You, you think you're so good at flying? Well, find the specific landing, landing pad in this. Look at all the D's I saw are gonna go it's over there. Look at all of these! And sometimes the lights don't turn up, so... You're literally just seeing this, and there's not your one there, annoyingly. You gotta come in nice and slow, make sure your gear's down, which it is, you can see that in the bottom left. And there's all 
also a cargo scoop, so you, what am I saying? There's also a cargo scoop down there, so you can um, pick up cargo when you're out in space. Uh, you got to line yourself up with the thing of a jig, the landing pad, like so. And you got to go down. You can do a lot more fancy than I am, but ooh, ooh, fuck. there's a thing behind. Me. Because I'm new to the joystick, I'm doing it very basic. Then you got your starport services when you're in and you're done. And this is essentially just um. Well, you pick up your missions and all that sort of jazz. Like, uh, you also have news, like at the moment, uh, where was it? The Empire, there's three factions, the Empire, the, actually, actually, three factions, the Federation, the Empire, and the Alliance, and then in each system there's the different ones, like Mother Gear, Soul Nationals, because I'm in Soul at the moment, they're all that. Uh, the Federation are kind of winning at the moment, I'm not too sure. The Emperor of the Empire, is currently in a coma. I haven't heard anything about the Alliance because they're just stuff. And then there's Federation, whose vice president was just just had a air quotes heart attack in his pool while being perfectly healthy and all that sort of jazz. Uh, from here, you can oh, you, you can repair your stuff. You can go to the bulletin board, pick up new missions, which there aren't any of. Uh, you can uh, respire your missions, which I will, because I accidentally was an idiot. Uh, then you got, if you've got a bounty on you, or if you've picked up a bounty from killing someone, once the server loads it, you can go to this, pay your bounty off, uh, pay your fines, get the bounty, and when you go to the war zone, you get these. Uh, you get like 3,000 credits per kill, which, when you get 5 or 6,000 off every other kill in the game at any time. It's not that worth it. I then you have your shipyard. I have uh, this is the one you start out with. You get one of these for free when you start. You get a sidewinder, it comes with a couple of pulse lasers and as you can see down here, stats 220 and 320. If I go to my ship, which they don't have here, uh, well this one is 240 and 350, so it's slightly slower, so slightly faster than that, like 20 each time. Then you got this, which is the same as the uh, Sidewinder, as you may have noticed. Sidewinder and Adder. A lot of the ships are named after um, snakes. You got Sidewinder, the Adder, the Cobra, the Viper, the Python, the Anaconda. You've got, and then you've got stuff like the Orca, the Dolphin, the Hawk, uh, sorry, the Eagle, the Condor. They're all named after animals, which is kind of cool. Uh, if I go to... I'll show you what my one looks like, actually. Um, it's pretty basic. You can buy different skins from the developers, for like 2 to 3 quid, and then I think for the Viper there's a 10 quid one, which is just a gold... a gold thingamajig. But, um, mine's pretty basic. Nothing too special about it. It's just like, it's just one of the 3 quid ones. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not patriotic at all. <laughs> I love how they just have an English... I, on, I'm i assuming on a spaceship it would be the, called the Union Jack. I'm not too sure because it's not being flown from a jack. The jack being the mast at the front of the ship and it, that's why it's called Union Jack. But I'm not sure if it would be called the Union Jack or just the Union flag plastered all over my ship. Uh, you can get ones like Australia, New Zealand, uh, Germany, America, all that sort of hoorah. Uh, the lights are down. Can I show you where the lights are? Will I be able to? The lights are here. These are lights. Can I turn them off? Yeah. yeah. That's the lights there. Uh, you got your thrusters here, here, right here, here. Should we, should we have, yeah, you got thrusters here, here, back there, 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 radiators sort of deals. Uh, then you got thrusters at the front there, front there, front there, so back there, back there. And then also on the bottom. Uh, these are your internal bits that you can have on the inside. And I'm going to see if I cannot take... Oh, no, I said launch. Ah, it's all going wrong. Launch. Now I'm going to see if I cannot take out whoever this guy's called. What's he called? Thomas the Great. Yeah. Can't see this going wrong. So, so I'll bring you back in once I've found out where he is, or 
when I find him. Whatever happens first. Thomas? He's a bit pissed. Goodbye, Thomas. Ah, <laughs> uh, where's the lasers? I'm to show you now. They have a range of about three kilometers. Uh, I tend to have six kilometers. He will try and get away, three kilometers away before he starts doing anything. I need to do this and it makes it harder. Uh, he can also this. Because I have my point of Which helps a lot. Chicken ears that are going to kill people. Flight assist. Start with the rockets. Okay, so I got my two pulse lasers on one. I just got oh, multi cannons, which are little mini guns. Uh, shoot the shit out of his shields. He obviously has shields a lot better than mine. He was a lot bigger target. Uh, he has a lot of turret weapons that lock off. My pulse lasers I have set to shoot where I'm eating. Just because it makes it a lot easier. Oh, let's go, 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 I don't think I've ever failed one of them before. No, Thomas, why? My beautiful ship, I have to buy another one. Oh my god. That's gonna cost a hundred thousand to replace that ship. I do have two and a half million, but oh my god, my ship! Uh, confirms. You can get a sidewinder for free every time you die. It just comes with a couple of horse lasers and some bits and pieces. Like the basics of stuff. Oh, my video is just loaded. That's interesting. Alright, so once you get back in, um, it pretty much puts you wherever you were last docked. So for me, it's Abraham Lincoln, and I have failed that mission because it was failed on destruction. So let's see if there's any more missions going around. Uh, I do like the interior of this ship. Got like. No, you look up and you can't see the buckle. Uh, turn the bulletin board. Uh, this is a go get stuff. A black market. Can you say it? Dama. Domta? Domta? Something like that. Uh, and then we got this one which is go hunt traders, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to bounce. You know where you find them, who you, whoever they are, terminate with the snoopy. Ha da 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 ba 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 I think that he's spinning at like 50 meters a second. 70 meters a second, apparently. That's pretty damn slow. Maybe enough to create the artificial gravity that I was going for. Yeah, I see any of the radiators, because there's nothing. I don't really see any of a reason for having them. They're not connected to anything. Oh, okay, okay, I was trying to, no, uh, back away from it, <laughs> I was trying to be cool and go over it, it didn't quite work. oh my god, seriously, and you can be fancy right up the inside of these, and up here, and then request locking, oh, that's an orca, Docking request granted. Flight assist off. Am I in the right place? Flight assist off. Almost. See, uh, you can usually tell where to go in by... <sighs> by where these signs are. And he certainly sent out some chaff. I'll have to deal with that later. So, not my problem anymore, deal. 
Uh, the shadows look quite nice, as you can see. Landing gear deployed. Be able to find the point. It, it renders in the landing gear properly. Which is nice. Okay. Uh, careful not to crash into here. These are. We. These are quite brutal. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Calm down. Uh, 13. Where's 13? 13 is, I'm pretty sure, right at the entrance, but I'm not. Then. Oh, there it is. I saw it. Oh, go down. There we go. Oh, slowly, slowly. Uh, you can die here. I do like the inside of this one. Quite. Oh, stop. Oh. Hi. Just popping in to say hi. Fancy. Oh, let's see. What did I just bump into? Bump into sign, apparently. 